and these are our topics today. Fish takes fish discovered at East Coast of Australia. Apple released its newest product, the iPod. Work down in the White House, retired in breakfast with Obama. Massive crash at bike race. Good afternoon, my name is Mike Thompson. Australian researchers have discovered the fish takes fish at the East Coast of Australia. The University of Queensland declares the area around Wurm as a nature reserve. They are now researching whether the fish is suitable for direct processing and consumption. Moreover, they are checking if there is any relation between the fish and the so-called Capniclo fish sticks. Apple, at the fair, let us flood the world with unnecessary technology. In Japan, Apple introduced its newest product, the iPod. Known for its crazy ideas, Steve Jobs has now united compliant and entertainment. So if desired, you can now enjoy your favorite music on the toilet. Some US schools are now planning to replace the old toilets through the iPods to motivate more students to attend the school. Washington DC, a retired couple from the United States only wanted to take part in a tour through the White House and at the end they had breakfast with Obama. How it works? They came a day before the web tour, so there wasn't any tour. But assuming that the couple is also among the invited guests, they could pass the control and end it at the breakfast table with the events and could also take photos with the president. Those who are late are punished by life, and those who come a little earlier are probably rewarded sometimes. Sports. Yesterday, the street cycling GT championship took place in Plymouth. Besides the usual races, there was a funny incident. At the third race of the day, as of all participants had agreed, they all fell at the beginning. A little bit funny, I think. Thank you for watching. You're Mike Thompson. Over and out. Hello, this is Jack Tyman with the weather report for the next week. This week it becomes cold, very cold. We expect between minus 20 to minus 5 degrees. You could say that these are really Siberian conditions. The probability of snow is very high. You also can expect ice on the road. Snow drifts are possible. The wind will blow with a speed of 65 miles per hour and there's a storm warning at the British West Coast. Fair transports are limited. Even the public transportations are restricted. The sun will be seen only at Tuesday and just for a few hours. Thank you. That was Jack Tyman with the weather report for BEC. Welcome to Small Talk with Johnny. And here's your moderator, Johnny Dexter. Today's special guest is the famous gangster rapper Lil Chico. And here he is, Lil Chico! Okay, hello? Oh, yeah? Seems to be that he's a real gangster rapper. Nice to meet you, Lil Chico. Hey, thanks. I'm proud of being a show tonight. So, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Me too, thanks for the request. Um, you're just right now back from your latest successful tour through the UK. And how was the feedback you got from the fans? Uh, just awesome. We had an average 25,000 people in one concert. A very high number, yes. Um, how do you guess how old is um, the normal fan? You must know the minimum age is 16. Otherwise, you can't visit the concert. Aha, uh -huh, okay. And why? Um, isn't it allowed to go on your concert? <laughs> you know, two or five albums are indicated. Yeah, um, yeah, it's because of the violent taxes, or? Yes, I have some quotes here. Um, in one of your tracks it says, I hit your brother while I... your mother. And also the state hates me, I put my... in her ass. Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard, isn't it? Uh, yes, of course, it's pretty hard, but I never would instigate somebody to take drugs or become criminal. And what else do you want to express with these words? I only want to express myself. 
and nobody can restrict how I handle my feelings with this stuff. I need music to come over or get over this fucking shit I had in my past. Yes, um, we know that you have um, a very bad um, past and because of this we have sent one of our reporters to the city where Lilschinko grew up. And here is this video. Hello, I'm Chris Tucker from Small Talk with Johnny. It's a cold and foggy day here in Sheffield, the place where Lil Chico grew up. When you look at this neighborhood, you can't wonder why he became like this. His hard taxes are just a reflection of his further life. I'm standing here in front of the house where Lil Chico lived for five years until his parents were killed in a conflict between the two dominating gangs in Sheffield. And now I'm gonna ask some people about their life and experiences in an area where crime is a daily business. Oh, okay. Excuse me, sir. I'm Chris Tucker from Small Talk with Johnny. Do you have some time to answer some questions? Mm, yes, of course. Ah, okay. Do you know the famous gangster rapper Lil Chico? Uh, yes, I do. I met him a few times when he wasn't that popular yet. Ah, okay. In his songs he often sings about drugs and violence in the ghetto of Sheffield. Can you confirm this? Yes, it's really hard sometimes, but there are also good times. Yeah, we're like a big family and protect each other as much as we can. Ah, okay. And are you a gang member? Yes, I was until my brother died when he was 16 years old because he fell in love with the sister of an enemy gang member. Yeah, so I left the gang because it destroyed my and my family's life. Oh, that's a sad story. Sorry, man. And is Lil Chico really such a tough guy like he always says? Um, I, sorry, no, I, I can't answer this question. Sorry. Uh, why not? No, Please. no, so, uh, bye. Yeah, I, bye. Okay. It seems that Lil Chico is really a gang member and that they have much more influence than we thought. I go on and try to find out some other facts about this topic. I asked some other people about LC's membership in one of the gangs, but everybody was afraid of the consequences if he says the truth. But now it's 8 p.m. here in Sheffield and I hope to find one of the gangsters. Everybody knows that the night is the time of gangs here in Sheffield. Oh, look over there. Excuse me, sir? Yeah? I'm Chris Tucker from Small Talk with Johnny. Do you have some time to answer some questions? Yeah, but not too long, you know. Street business. What do you mean with street business? Yeah, I'm gonna hustle a bit. You know, making cash with street stuff. Ah, it sounds like you're a gang member, is it right? No! Are you kidding? I'm standing here at 8 p.m., lonely place in a lonely street, just because I have nothing better to do? No, yeah, I understand. And you know the famous gangster rapper Lil Chico? Yes, I know him. I mean, before he became popular, he was often here. But now, you don't see him that often as before, because he's very busy. But if he's here, he helps us with our all day life problems, ghetto problems. But also it's cool to chill with him or play basketball or something like that. Ah, and is he also a gang member? Yes, he is. And is he active? I mean, does he also these street stuff you talked of? Man, I'm not that stupid that I would tell you something like that. And I even would not tell you his more attaining status. Okay, and can you answer some other questions of mine? No, I can't. And now piss off and get your ass out of here. Okay, okay. Now we got the answer. Lil Chico is really a gang member, but is he still active in one of the criminal activities uh, of the gangs here in Sheffield that we can't say for granted. Chris Tucker from Small Talk with Johnny, back to the studio. Thank you Chris for these impressive pictures. Lil Chico, do you think that your rap texts have any influence on the youth? As I said before, I don't want to instigate somebody anything. My music is the end of No? I don't want that somebody do the same shit like I do. Yeah, I, I, I understand you, yes. Um, but I think there are different opinions about that. And so we invited <coughs> our next guest. She's the mother of a guy who is now in prison because he listened to gangster rap music. And here she is, Cheyenne Taylor. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Taylor. Hello. Um, welcome to our show. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm pleased to be in the shop. Um, would you be so nice and tell us something more about you? Yes, of course, yeah. 
I'm a nurse and I'm living in Birmingham with my son Marcus, who is 16 years old. And as you already said, he is unfortunately in prison. Yeah. yeah. Um, why is he in prison? He robbed a supermarket eight weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, um, our editor editorial staff found out um, a video of a surveillance camera uh, which shows that robbery. And here it is. So, Mrs. Taylor, it seems to me that your son is a real criminal guy. Um, did he do that regularly? No, no, no. My son has always been a polite guy. I couldn't believe when the police called me at work that I have to go to the police station because of my son. So, you think that um, Mr. Chico's music brought him to the point to rob a supermarket? Yes, I think so, because the music is very woman hating and vulgar. And the kids get a wrong imagination of real life. Mm -hmm. Tell me one thing that is included in my taxes. It's pretty easy. For example, I hit your brother and so on. I don't want to repeat all. Yeah, so the kids get saying that it's normal and everyone does it. But you have to be over 18 to buy or to listen to the songs, you know? And but my son could also listen to this music. Also, he is just 16 years old. Same like alcohol and cigarettes. It's not my problem. That's under the penalty and control. So do you want to blame me that my son became criminal? I just said! Mr. Chico, Mrs. Taylor, please calm down. There is no reason to get in anger. We are civilized persons. I don't know if he is. Mrs. Taylor, please don't get insulting. That's a problem, Mr. Chico. You know, everybody thinks gangster brothers are totally dumb. To end the argument, I've invited another guest. But at first, we have to make a little spot at our today's contest. You can win one of five Peugeot 1.6. that the kid thinks it's cool to do this. They can't grasp the consequences of their actions. Yeah. So you would maintain that Mrs. Taylor's son 
became criminal <coughs> because he listened to Mr. Chico's music. Yeah, and that's my opinion. I think Mr. Chico's hard rap taxes are one of the reasons why Marcus committed the crime. But why? Why are you so convinced that my music called for such reactions? I mean, maybe he only hang around with the wrong people. Yes, that's right, Mr. Chico. Perhaps everyone in his gang listened to, the, to this music. But maybe they motivated each other to do more and more criminal activities. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, it's not that easy to find out if rap music has any influence on youth committing crime. I think we'll see us at Sunday when our show continues. Goodbye.